Dive deeper. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. As you look within yourselves for a particular vibration that you would like to feel, let yourselves explore in a deeper way than you've ever done before. Give yourselves a full tour because there is more within you than you have experienced previously. And it is time for you to discover just how high you can raise your vibration. The deeper you go, the higher the vibration. We invite you to explore the regions of yourself that have all the secrets of the universe. We invite you to look within yourselves for full disclosure, for everything you've ever wanted to know about this universe and all that is. Evidence of your shift is going to be accessed within you first. The experiences that you want to have are going to manifest within you first, and everything that you are letting go of vibrationally, emotionally, and energetically is going to come out and up and out of you. The richness of your experience is limitless, but it is necessary for you to access your own soul, your own consciousness, your own energy signature, in order for you to fully feel the highest vibration that you are capable of accessing. One of the ways that you can help yourselves to do this is by putting your attention on every part of your physical body all at once. How often do you do that? How often do you feel your consciousness in every square centimeter? How often do you enliven yourselves in that way? Seeking internal validation will always grant you what you are looking for. Seeking external validation is a crapshoot at best. You are ready to explore all the layers upon layers of vibrations that exist within you, and doing so is going to heighten every experience that you have of the external world. You won't need to see any proof of anything in order to live a very satisfied existence, because you will have unlocked all of it within yourselves and experienced it firsthand. And just when you think you felt it, dive a little deeper. The Physical and Non-Physical Ways because you are a physically focused human being, you often look for physical causes to what you are experiencing in your lives. You want to make sense of the world, and you want to make sense of your world in the particular. The physical reality seems more real than any other reality that you could describe. In other words, something solid seems more permanent and therefore more real than something as fleeting as a thought, an emotion, or an energetic experience. Therefore, when you want to make sense of something and you want to be able to depend upon reality, to produce you results that you want, you look to the physical. Even though money has become less tangible over the years, you still look to money as a means at which you could get something that you want, like a vacation, a car, or home. But there are, of course, many other ways of having these experiences and these things. When you look at your life and the circumstance of it, you may look at physical factors as having been the cause of where you are today. So if you had rich parents, then you would have a rich adulthood. If you experience physical abuse, then you might continue to experience it as an adult or become the abuser. And you look at the physical factors, the tangible things, as being the most relevant in all these cases. However, in truth, the physical is no more permanent than the ethereal. It's no more predictable or reliable than anything that is intangible. It just seems that way from a certain point of view. When you work with the non-physical, when you work with vibration... It is actually much easier for you to get where you want to go. And it is also easier for you to understand how you got to where you are today through vibration because not everyone who has the same physical experience gets the same physical result or has the same physical future experience. What we are talking about here is re a rewriting of your brains. We are talking about looking at things from a slightly different perspective and we are talking about shifting your reality at the most subtle level which is of course not the physical one. So when you want something in your life that you don't have or when you want to change something that already exists, always look to the vibrational and to the energetic as the means by which you are going to shift your experience of reality. It is an easier way, it is the faster way, and it is in fact the more permanent way. New Challenges Bringing yourselves to a new point in your evolution means that you step up to new sets of challenges. These challenges are what you give you a reason to feel something. They give you a reason to summon forth energy. They give you a reason to make a choice. They propel you forward. So when you reach a new point in your evolution and you find yourself facing these challenges, we invite you to see it as progress. Many times you will look at your lives and think that you are doing something wrong because of the challenges that you have in front of you. You will think, how did I create this? What am I doing wrong? Or you will think that you are regressing in some way as though the absence of challenges is what signifies spiritual enlightenment. It is what you do with the challenges that matters. And as we have said, when you make shifts to higher frequency ranges, you put those challenges in front of yourself because you want something to spur you on. 
whether you admit it to yourselves or not, that challenges make life interesting. They light a fire under you. Your challenges are your friends, and when you begin to see them in that way, you shift your perspective on them, and therefore you have more success in facing them. As soon as you switch from believing that the challenges mean you are doing something wrong to recognize that the challenges mean you have leveled up to new vibration, you will begin to handle these challenges with ease and grace, and you will welcome them. You will want to hone your skills as a creator being by continually upping the stakes. When the challenges get bigger, more of you gets revealed. And when more of you gets revealed, more of you gets integrated. And then you begin facing your challenges as your whole self. When you can laugh in the face of them, that's when you know you're playing the game with all your pieces. That's when you know you're at top of the game, and it's so much easier to get there than you think. So as you move through your evolutionary process, you're going to discover that more and harder challenges are what bring more light and more love through you. And that is the ultimate experience, and that is what you all came here to do. We are the Arcturian Council, and we've enjoyed connecting with you. End of Volume 3